Yep. All right, so when you hook in your pump and filter system back up, um, there's we, what we usually do is most pool mechanics do if you're opening the pool for the first time yourself. Um, everything is usually in this basket. What you usually find is you usually find your filter gauge, which will show you where to screw on. You usually find your drain plug to the bottom of the filter, and you'll find your plugs that go in the bottom of the pump. Here you can see I already inserted one a few minutes ago. This is the drain plug that we removed here. Um, the winter's pump drain. So what you want to do first is put these back in. That's your number one. Now, if you're a beginner or someone that knows nothing about pools, the most obvious way to hook up your pump system is to play like a little game of match. We all remember those that little those little games when we were kids. So you see this has a union. This is called a union. If you don't know what this is called already. So what you're going to basically do is look to where this match is. So if you have no idea and you're completely lost right now, you would take this pump. And now I can see it's going to look here. Now obviously I've been doing this for a while and I know where it's going to go. But you can see, like if we looked over here, it's not going to match to these because this is the one side of the union that's not going to go together. So, and we know the pump's not going to sit up here because that would just be silly. So the only thing left would be this spot right here. So that's where the pump's gonna hook up right there. But before we do that, a lot of mistakes people always mistake if you're a mechanic or not a mechanic, and this relate to any trade, is working over themselves. Now I know that I have to put my drain plug in the bottom of the filter first. I don't wanna put my pump there, that way I'm stepping over my pump and possibly damaging stuff. So here's our drain plug for the pump. And if you look around the base of your pump, you could be anywhere, you'll find a spot. Now I already cheated, and I already found out where this is gonna go. And down in here is a little spot you just go through and you're gonna tighten this thing up just like so just like that okay then what you're gonna do after I get this thing on straight you're gonna hand tighten it just like that this will be an edit because people will be too bored if they watch me do this the whole time Okay, we're back YouTube. No, <laughs> now we're back. Okay, so now we're gonna put our pump. Now we talked about, we just put our drain plug on. That, scratch that. We just put our drain plug on, and now we're gonna install our pump. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift our pump. Best idea, always coil your wire. I know, I know, you don't wanna coil the wire, and you might think this is silly, but you know what? It's better than dragging it through everything, getting stuck on stuff. So you're just gonna lift it up like this, slide it there, and this is called your female end of the union. You can assume why. This is your mail side of the union, and we're just going to hook it up like this. Now, generally, your pool plumbing will probably be straighter, won't be shifted by so many bricks, but you're just going to tighten this union up just like that. Now, the suction side of your pump is hooked up. This is your suction side. Next thing you want to do is take your chlorinator. Now, not all pools will have a chlorinator, but if you do have one, this is what it will look like. Nice. Hey, no. <laughs> hey, look, they do it with that uh, that bubble wrap commercial. What movie was that in? Oh, oh Harold and Kumar on White Castle. Was that it? No. Who made love to the bubble wrap? I don't remember. Uh, it was some movie the guy was making love to. Yeah, it wasn't Harold and Kumar. Did you see Harold and Kumar goes to White Castle? I saw that. I don't remember. Yeah, when he got wasted. Remember? I don't know. Maybe someone else. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, going back on track. This is the chlorinator, and we'll be hooking this up. Okay, so the thing you want to look for, and this is not what I'm going to be able to show you right in this video, but I'll show you what you should look for, is there's a little flow thing on here. You can see this is the direction of flow. That, that has to be the right way. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be, explain, be able to explain to you on what your direction of flow is, so you'll have to look for direction of flow videos, but we want to know which way the flow goes. Now, obviously, I am inexperienced. I know this... Dude, that was so great, and you that know what? That was perfect. That was, yeah, that, that definitely makes like a sound bite. Because I'm like, I'm experienced, bam, bam. Okay, so now, now that we put this base on, and you want to be careful because it will just fall off, and you want to mash it up here where the drain plug is, and get it back on here. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I know, doing something live is not, is not so easy. Okay, so we're going to hook up. Direction of flow. Okay, we've established a direction of flow. Is This is where the return line is going back into the pool. So obviously we want to push the water back to the pool. Here's my filter. The water is going to come from the filter to the pool. So my direction of flow, it would be this way to the pool. So this chlorinator is just going to hook up right here, same way we did before. We're going to just tighten the union, just like this. That's one side. Then you're going to get your other side, which is right here. And like earlier, if your plumbing is straighter, you'll have an easier time. But you'll tighten this fitting up just like this. Okay, now your coordinator's there. You always want to make sure your lid is secure. 
and your tab clicks, so that way when it fills up, you won't be spilling water all over the place. Now, okay, we'll do a little interview here. Myself, time to cut this. Okay, how to tighten, how to tighten your pool fitting. You're going to use something like this called water pump pliers. Now, I don't want to use this set because they're all rusted. So I'll grab a more rusted set that's broken in. But hey, you know what? If I was all about being perfect, you wouldn't be watching this video. Anyway, you're going to take your pliers, you're going to adjust them comfortably. Now, when you're working with, if you've ever worked before and you're watching this video or anything else, and you say, hey, I've worked with pipe wrenches, I've worked with tools, this is plastic. And like Mike had mentioned earlier, plastic is different than steel. You cannot crank the crap out of this and expect it to last. Otherwise, you will be wound up with things like this. No. And this gets expensive, especially in today's economy. Okay. So when cranking these down, you're just going to crank them to where they're snug and go about a half turn, maybe a quarter turn after that. You'll come to the reverse side, just like this. Remember to spin your pliers around because you're going in a separate direction. And you're just going to crank the same way, get it to where it's snug. Just like this. And then you're going to go another half turn. Now on the back of the coordinator here, you're going to see there's a little adjustment switch. We'll show you and all about how to adjust your coordinator video. You want to make sure that's on 7. Top of your filter. You want to make sure this is on filtration just like that. You have another union here. So go around inspecting all unions. Making sure they are tidy. Just like this. And we have a union here. Now these old Hayward unions keep some crap sometimes, and we'll get to that in another video. But we'll just tighten it like this. I have a feeling this, this will leak a little bit naturally because these valves are old and there's a whole trick to that. Okay. Tighten the front of the pump. I think we missed. Okay, now you're going to come to your front valve here. This is called your suction or intake valve. This is a three-way valve. The first way being the front of your pump. This is where your pump will pull the water into the impeller. Now, on some systems, you will not have a valve, or you might have just a one-way valve. This pipe would be turned this way, and you have a valve here just for on and off. This pool actually has a bottom drain, so one side is for your skimmers, and one side is for your bottom drain. Now, when you're starting this pump up, you're always going to want to start it from one side, an initial start, because there's going to be an air in the lines, and there'll be too much air. So, this is not marked. Oh, actually, it is. Spoke too soon. Here it says main drain. I naturally never want to start a pool off the main drain because it's air in there and it's just a longer way. So you want to always start off the skimmer, especially that this skimmer. If you t if I take a step back here, let me look at the disgusting tools. But you'll see how close my skimmer is. So starting this pool up will be a drop of a hat. Like a lot of times, the filter systems are hundreds of feet away and you're waiting and waiting. This happens to be like literally like three feet. So this filter will start right back up. So. The off position is where you want to put it to what you want to be off. So this has main drain. We don't want the main drain to be on. We're going to loosen this handle here. We're just going to lift the handle up a little bit. And we'll turn it just like that to have the main drain off. And that will let our skimmers be on. And in a few minutes when we start the pump, you're going to see that. Okay, you cut that.